posing gloves here. This is the fourth video in the Massive from the Ground Up tutorial series. And we are going to talk about routing in Massive. Simply because it's a pretty simple concept, should be able to cover it pretty quick. So now that you know about oscillators and envelopes and you saw a glimpse of how modulation worked. I'm going to talk about that in just a separate video just to keep them apart. But next to your oscillators, you have these filter envelopes or these filter controllers. So if we have a signal, we'll make it a square wave. And right now it's being sent equally to filter one and filter two. But those things are dictated by the mix and the filter tab. So right now we have parallel versus serial. And so right now it's going through parallel, but our mix, mix one and two, is talking about filter one and filter two. So when we put it in the middle, now we're going to hear both the effects of filter one and filter two. If it's all the way bottom, we would just hear the mix of filter two. Now, this would be interesting because the bottom is parallel, the top is serial, which means if we had it in the middle, um, it would be serial so you'd hear more filter one's influence against filter two depending on if you had things routed to go specifically through filter one all right let me try and explain this more clearly so let's say you have this on filter one and let's set it to, to serial real quick so you would think that it would only go through filter one but it would also go through filter two because this is set to serial and our mix is set to go and output both so let's put a high pass on here. You can hear the high pass affecting it. Now you think it's only filter one, so it should just go through filter one, but not so. Let's put a uh, an acid on it. Oh, my bad. Let's make sure our filters are on. So you can hear it affecting it. Let's uh, make it more noticeable. Let's put another high pass. So you see it gets processed by this first filter, you get sent down to the second. These knobs right here are just how much the filter affects your original signal. So this is affects it all the way. This is affects it half some of the way, affects it a little and sends the rest of it through untouched and this is doesn't affect it at all go straight through it so this would leave filter two to do everything as you can see so just because this is at filter one does not mean that it only goes to filter one which is sort of misleading for new people i mean even though this is at serial if it were parallel um i believe it would only affect filter one let's find out real quick because this is only being sent to filter one, even though you hear the output of both mixes. And there you have it, it's independent. And there you have it, affected, not affected. So that is how you do it. You add it to parallel if you only want it to go through filter one exclusively. And let's say you have another one, you want it to go through filter two exclusively. So you put it on parallel. That's the first, this is this oscillator. This is this oscillator, oscillator one, this is oscillator two. So that's some um, uh, routing options there for you. And then you can change the total mix output of what you hear according to, this is just the output from mix one, this is just the output from mix two. So very useful. Then, uh, as you can see, you have these filter options down here for all your oscillators, except the modulation oscillator, because it is a special scenario. So if you put a filter one, filter one, filter two, filter two, same, same dealio as these guys. These are the most confusing out of all of them. So you need to know this. This bypass is just dry wet again. Um, and we'll talk about bypass at a later date and time. Uh, I believe that's it. And yeah, check out my Facebook page, Composing Gloves. And my website, of course, ComposingGloves.com. Got lots of free stuff on there for people, sample packs and massive presets and things. And of course, there's my music on there. And have a blessed day.